Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Jujutsu Kaisen today. Sukuna versus Special Grade Curse, right? So, I'm on a landscape orientation page. You use a pencil, hit pause if I go too fast. This is two characters, take your time. Hit pause when I move my hand or if you need to zoom in and out on things, you know, just pause it. Make it easy for yourself. So, we'll start with this, the, the guy in the middle, the, the curse. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll start with his nose, just over here. Center point to my page about here, come over to the left, right? And we'll start with his nose. So, diagonal line, that way. And then this comes out and up towards his head, right? It's kind of a flat nose. And then his mouth, teeth, just in here, right? So it comes out, down, down to his teeth down here. And his bottom lip, out like so, up to there, and come out, down, right? And then we got like all these big gnarly teeth inside here, right? So, tooth at the front, there, next one, next one, so the real big teeth, like so, and then some of this bottom tooth we can see just in here, and then teeth at the bottom, So, and then he has like a jawline or something there. Bottom lip line here. Then his chin sticks out like so, back in. His jaw curves back this way. And this will come up the back of his jaw, just there. He doesn't have an ear, so that makes it kind of easy for us. Then, so the back of his neck is just like here, right? So you gotta get sort of the neck in the right place. So, so this is like back of his neck here. Right, so in the front of his neck, just over here. And like neck muscles and things. Like so, right? Now his head will come out around, right? But he's got those sort of ridges on his head, right? So starting here, right? We'll bump this sort of bumpy sort of line, right? And like there's eyeballs and things and gnarly sort of stuff inside here. This is like the top of his head, but it's got it's like a, a rope or a cord or something. Coming out and down, right? Around. And there's two of these that we can see, right? So this one comes down like so. And it's pointy on the end over here. So you just do it, this double sort of line. Like so, and then you can add like an eyeball here and like here. like this. And I think he has a nostril up here. What well, looks like a nostril anyway. And there's a break in the color. So this is like dark gray and this is red. So, then we got like a golden clasp or something down here at the back of his head. Like, like here. And then another one sort of bumps out around towards his nose. 
No eyeballs on this one. Just seems to have the eyeballs on top of his head over here. And we can see just another one that goes around his head at the back. So just some extra bumps there. All right, so then the back of his shoulder just comes down like this, like so, and then his hair flows down that way. And then his collarbone, just there at the front of his chest. And your collarbone always meets your shoulder. So his shoulder muscles, just here. That line down like so. And front of his chest. And then this comes across, like so. And then chest muscle there. And I think that's him. Okay, right. So Sukuna is like about to like grab his face, right? There's a hand here and, and Sukuna's head is over there, right? So we come over and start our boy Sukuna just over here on the right hand side. And we're right near the edge of my page over here, right? So Sukuna's shoulder is like in here and his hand comes back this way and his head is like all the way over here. So we just got to start just with his nose, right? So it points out, so you got this like letter L going on just there. And then there's like a nostril just here. So then we go up for his brow. So you just bring it up a bit. And then back like so. So it's like his forehead. And if you know where his brow is, you know where his eyebrow is. So his eyebrow is always like right across from this sort of pointy part of his brow. And his eye then will be underneath that. So his eyebrow will go just this way. And you might need to thicken up just the end here. Like so. And then we have his eye underneath. So it just like curves back there. Might have an extra sort of line, like so. And his bottom eyelid comes down to here. And his pupil, real small, sort of just looking off in the distance like he, he doesn't care. Because <laughs> he doesn't, because it's Sukuna. Right. And then he might have like a top eyelid or something just just underneath his eyebrow here, like so. So then, top lip comes down, back in, bottom lip sticks out, back in, and then his mouth will go back sort of this way a little bit. And then his chin sticks out, And then it goes around, down this way towards his neck, into there. So proportions of things, I would say the nose is about halfway between the eyes and the chin, right? The bottom of the nose. So say his top eyelid there to nose, about the same as nose to chin. Right, so this is about halfway between here and here. And then nose to bottom lip, about the same as bottom lip to chin. Okay, so that's sort of your proportions for the human face, right? And then his jaw comes out like so. And then we go up here across from his mouth, see? And then his ear, the lobe would stick out here. And this comes out around for the top of his ear to there. Then we got like bones and ligaments and things on the inside of his ear. So I always say the easiest thing is just like a letter J, just like that. But you can build on that and make it more detailed. You know, just like extra sort of lines. 
like so and then yep. like so for a sideburn this sideburns coming down and then his hairline just comes all around zigzag sort of lines down to down to this sideburn here like so so it looks kind of just like yuji at the minute but if we add those sort of face tattoos right so he's got like lines underneath his eyes so like there and then he's got like spikes coming up from his eyebrow like a lightning sort of spike here these sort of dark tattoos something coming across his forehead there something coming down across his nose back into there and then more stuff down across his face and then another thing here so these are quite thick lines now and then this comes out down follows his jaw down to his chin and we'll just thicken it up So, and then this comes out to there, down like so. Right, so then the rest of his hair comes out around the back of his head, right? So we got like just hair spikes coming out from his forehead. Like this. And we keep going just back around his head. like so and we might have some texture lines on the inside So then um, his scarf will just come across his neck here. You know that red scarf that Yuji wears? It's not Sukuna's scarf, but this comes down like so. That there. And we got like more fold lines and stuff. Like this. And the front sort of waves down here with golden buttons like that and then like the back of his head slash hair is about here it comes out from his ear there might have like a neck muscle line or something that way and his shoulder out like so down the bottom of the scarf just here for the front of his body and then like a shoulder line it's all folds for clothing now so it's all like how his clothing's being pulled sort of in this direction so that's like the front of his body 
phone line there, phone line, maybe go back that way, come down here, got like a button, like so, maybe like another phone line there. And what we can see of his hand, so his arm, this arm sort of comes out here. It's kind of like all ripped and torn, the sleeve of it. So like just scraggly sort of sticking out here and then we got like fingers. Just roughly sort of drawn in. Coming out like that, not a lot of detail in it, so. I know fingers can be tricky. And then the thumb on the other side. And we can see his thumbnail just there and two fingers hanging down on the other side. Okay, so there's more detail in the hand back here, right? So he's got a sleeve that comes out from this guy's head, right? And then, you know, it's kind of nice that there's a break because we don't have to worry about proportions and sticking it to Sakuna's body. So <laughs> makes it kind of easier for us. So then we got like a sleeve, like so, and then goes out around like this. And then sleeve curves around there. And then the bottom of his wrist and hand just curve line here. With two bumps for his actual palm of his hand. Like so. that and then line here for his wrist bones and then his hand so he's doing like this kind of a thing okay so we've got like four bent fingers and a thumb so the thumb kind of goes up this way all right and then this goes out there and then curves around. All right, so bumping line here, bumping line there. Up, down. This is his little finger now, and they're kind of square on the end. Drawn kind of simply like that. And a sort of a purple thumbnail, thumbnail pinky nail just in there and then the next one line up cross and down now if I go too fast just hit pause slow it down because fingers are hard and then this comes across up to there a lot of changes of direction and stuff and then fingernail just in there and then up again cross down around for the next finger square sort of fingers like so and then index our little finger ring finger middle finger and there might be a line just there. And then finally, so the final finger, so like so, and then this one will go up, around, down. 
down like so and around the bottom. Up around to there. Another sort of skin line fold, skin line fold there. And his fingernail like that. And then palms of his hand lines just like this. And those fingernails are like all, you know, colored in purple and stuff. Uh, and then we can just see like his rear end, basically, <laughs> his butt, just back here, uh, sticking out like that. I should call this video, how to draw Sukuna's butt. <laughs> uh, so there you go, hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one, bye.